Yo, hey guys, what's up, man? Hope you're doing great. Mm -hmm. You're with the boy, and you get a week. Okay, Mary. I'm calling. And if you need the channel, man, please hit the like button, share, share comment, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. Let's go. We're on the road to 5K. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Just five days ago, we were like, Wait, what? Yeah, we, we like we have like 4K right now, so we're on the road to 5K, then 6K, then yeah, oh, okay. 10K. Yeah. So, <laughs> Let's do what God has seen today. Yeah. The unseen truth of India. The Wait. world needs to know. Mm -hmm. oh, we're always surprised. The unseen truth. What is it? What is the first image comes to your mind when you hear the name of India? Like this, this, or this, right? Yeah. Because your mind and your face present such the similar the images of India. But that's a video. Like, okay, let me show you something different than your media. Okay. If I say this is India, right. will you believe me? Maybe not, because most probably you have never seen India in this way. But actually, this is real India which has been hidden from you. The slums, cities and cities cities you see on TV or mobile is only a smallest part of India. India is actually pretty normal. And this is the one thing that a lot of people are not understand about India. Okay, let me show you some major cities of India. This is Mumbai. This is Delhi. This is Kolkata. This is Gurgaon. This is Noida, this is Hyderabad, this is Pune, this is Bangalore, this is Chennai, this is Surat, this is Thane, and there are many such modern cities in India. That's crazy. Okay, crazy. let's come to the rural part of India, and I'm pretty sure that according to you, the Indian villages are looked something like this or this, right? Because of the but actually, the this is not even 5% part of Indian villages. More than 95% of Indian villages are looked something like this. Okay. Due to the large population of India, the Indian villages are also so big. Look at this. This is not a city or town, but it's a village called Madhapur, located in the Indian city of Gujarat. After a lot of struggle in 1947, when India got independence from the British Empire, India's economy was only 25 billion dollars. Even in 1991, India's economy was less than the economy of Paris and London. And now India has more economy than the France and the UK. In 2014, India's economy was ranked 10th in the world. But now in 2022, India has become the fifth largest economy in the world with a huge GDP of 3.5 billion dollars. In just last eight years, India has overtaken five major economies like Canada, Russia, Italy, Brazil, France, and the UK. And this is really impressive. India is the fastest growing major economy in the world, and according to IMF, India is set to surpass Germany and Japan to become the world's third largest economy by 2027. India is already the third largest economy in the world in terms of PPP GDP with a huge GDP of 11.7 billion dollars. And by 2030, India's nominal GDP is expected to be 8.5 trillion dollars, but India's potential is much more than this. After the USA, Russia, and China, the Indian military is the fourth most powerful military in the world, and with a budget of 76.6 billion dollars, India has the largest defense budget in the world. Over 1.45 million active personnel, yeah, over 1.15 million reserve personnel, and over 2.52 million paramilitary. The Indian military is the largest military in the world with a total 5.13 million military personnel. India is also a nuclear armed country. The country is held some of the most powerful nuclear weapons in the world, such as intercontinental ballistic missiles, Agni 5, Agni 6, A5, and K6 which has a massive range of 5,000 km to 12,000 km. Even some experts say that India hidden a dangerous weapon called a disabled or Surya, which has a massive range of 12,000 km to 16,000 km. There are only four countries in the world that have anti-satellite weapons, and India is one of them. India That's has what I'm talking about. destroyed the communication system of any country in the world by destroying their satellite in this space. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is among the world's top and most successful space agencies. ISRO has successfully launched over 386 foreign satellites for 36 different countries, including satellites of USA, Germany, France, and the UK, and successfully launched over 130 for Indian origin satellites. 
there are many many misconception about india have been born in the world especially in the west and that's why many people make the mistake of underestimating india for example in 2013 when india announced that india will also send its satellite and rover to mars the new york times made fun of india like this but after in just one year in 2014 india began the first country in the world to reach mars in the first attempt and just few years later in 2017 india created an incredible world record by launching one thousand satellite from a single rocket and exactly. india made fun of new york times like this this is called epic revenge india is among the world's four countries that has successfully reached mars and moon both other are usa russia and china and among the five countries that have their own gps navigation system are their usa russia china and japan After US and China, India has the highest number of billionaires in the world. As of 2022, India has total 237 billionaires. The Indian stock market is the fastest growing major stock market in the world. Two of the world's ten largest stock exchanges are India, and India is said to be world's the largest stock market by 2030, with a total expected market cap of over 11 trillion dollars. The world's fastest growing startup ecosystem in 2014 India had only 400 startup and as of 2022 India has over 77000 startups which makes India globally the third largest startup ecosystem in the world after USA and China as of today India has the highest number of unicorns in the world the country is home to the 108 unicorns with a total valuation of 341 billion dollars India is already among the top 5 most industrialized countries with a total output of 900 billion dollars and it is said to be third most industrialized country by 2030 with an expected industrial output of more than 3 trillion dollars. Currently India is the eighth largest exporter in the world. Total export of India was 675 billion dollars in 2021 and the country is on the way to become the third largest exporter in the world by 2030 with a expected export of more than 2 trillion dollars. India is emerging as factory of the world due to its large skilled workforce. Even in 2021, India overtaken US and became the second most attractive manufacturing destination globally, second only to China. Production. India is the largest producer of tractor, two-wheeler, spice, dairy products, milk, ginger, turmeric and sugar. Second largest producer of smartphone, steel, cement, vegetable, fruit, rice, wheat and cotton. Third largest producer of electricity, renewable energy, gems and jewelry. Fourth largest producer of cars and trucks. The Indian textile industry is the second largest textile industry in the world with a total valuation of over 225 billion dollars. The country is well known as hub of information technology. The annual revenue of Indian IT industry is more than 200 billion dollars and it is said to be 350 to 400 billion dollars by 2025 and more than 1 trillion dollars by 2030. Also known as the pharmacy of the world, the country's massive pharmaceutical right industry is the source of more than 50% of global demand for various vaccines. India is the largest provider of generic drugs globally. Over 40% generic drugs in the USA and over 25% of all medicine in the UK are supplied by India. It is difficult to imagine how world would be able to combat AIDS without India because globally over 80% of antiretroviral drugs which is using to combat aids are supplies by india 100% known as the potential superpower india is the second most populous country in the world and its potential is unlimited the country has largest young force in the world more than 50% of its population below the age of 25 and more than 65% of its population below the age of 35 and this young power is helping india to become an economic superpower like usa china and european union But still, if you think that India is a good country, then let me tell you that Indian household own the largest amount of gold, 25,000 dirhams to 30,000 dirhams, which is worth over 1.5 trillion dollar to 2 trillion dollar, and it is more than the economy yeah, of Australia, South Korea, and India. Even India and Nepal alone have gold, thousand to 5,000 dirhams of gold, which is worth more than 300 billion dollar, and is more than the economy of New Zealand and Finland. Indians are just love golds and jewelry and that's why 
India is the biggest consumer of gold, silver, jewelry, and gems. Many people in the world, mostly in the West, use HDI and per capita to criticize India, but they forget that India is the fastest growing major economy in the world. Currently, wow. India's HDI is considered really? in the medium category, which is expected to move to the high more development category by 2025. Even today, 14 Indian states are comes in the high more development category and 13 Indian states are very close to achieve this. And many Indian states have more GDP per capita than the per capita of many European countries. Well, India is 7 to 10 times cheaper than the Europe and America. India is just like China. As China developed itself in the past oh, few days, India is developing in the same way. According to recent UN study, the country has selected more than 415 million people out of poverty since 2005. And according to World Bank, poverty in India has reduced by 12.3% between 2011 to 2019 from 22.5% in 2011 to only 10% in 2019. And according to recent study of IMF, India has almost wiped out extreme poverty. The percentage of people living in the extreme poverty in India is only 0.8% now. The country is like the rich culture yeah, like. and spirituality. No country in the world as diverse as India. There are 20 states and 8 million territories in India and they all have their own culture, music, languages, dresses and food. And no country in the world is more colorful than India. Even India has entire colorful wow. cities like Jaipur, the city of pink, Udaipur, the city of white, Jodhpur, the city of blue, Jaisalmer, the city of gold, and Kanyakumari, the city of seven colors. India is a whole world itself. India has snow like Greenland, beauty like Switzerland, desert like Arab, wildlife like Africa, beautiful cities like Europe, forests like Brazil, and mountains like Japan. In oh, India has white places also. Hundred thousand of beautiful temples, not. historical monuments, incredible architecture sites, extremely beautiful hill stations like Monali, yeah. Nainital, Simla, and Spitali. India is just incredible. India is transforming itself as a global economic powerhouse. The country is home to the highest number of under construction mega projects in the world. Project Bharatmala cost $140 billion. Project Sagarmala cost $130 billion. Project DMIC cost $100 billion. Project 100 Smart City cost $100 billion. These are few big projects out of them. As, uh, as the country is spending a massive amount of $1.5 trillion to modernize and develop its infrastructure. Along with this, Seeing the growth of countries' urbanization, India is also creating many new and futuristic cities like Gate City, Bhuvanera SIR, and Amaravati Smart City. The fastest growing major economy, the fastest growing major stock market, the fastest growing startup ecosystem, healthcare, technology, infrastructure, and industries, India is performing excellent. And this is what the world should know about India. What is the first image comes to your mind Please. when you hear the name of India? Is opening uh, eyes. This, yeah. this or this. Move right. right. to India. Hey, it... sir. What's the ticket love, price? What? <laughs> I love the concept. Like, even we face the same thing in Africa. Like, when people think you're from Africa, they think like you're from this jungle, jungle. and undeveloped mm -hmm. places. Yeah. But so there are actually enough. places that they're very developed. Mm -hmm. they're, yeah, there are things that. And I love how, in, in you know, the, they're lifting up the poor people. Yeah. You see, like, the yeah, poverty, poverty is, like, reducing, wow. like, that's mm, crazy. That's I'm loving that. Like, yes. it's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Zero point eight percent That's crazy. The whole yeah. country. And they keep growing. Because mm -hmm. the media used to show us, you know, when you watch sometimes the movies from maybe the U.S., sometimes even from India, you can see those areas. You think, like, yo, yeah. some parts are very poor. But now they're showing, yeah. this video is showing us, like, nah. Like when like you think of food. India, you think of a lot of people. Lot yeah. of the traffic, everywhere. But that's just a small part. There are other parts. Like you also those yeah. modern cities, more oh, than one, so more than yeah. two. And people, then, when, when they hear about India, they think it's only Mumbai, but there's yeah. there. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot of other places. Like, that yo. Yeah. And that's yeah. only India, imagine. And that's crazy. It looks like a small little country place, but it's really it's big really and a lot. Mm -hmm. And 
this actually answered my question from the previous one. I was, I was wondering, like, the economy, how is it like they have a lot, but they're not well, but this answered my question. Yeah, the different in top five. Yeah. yeah. That's All really right. Nice. That's an interesting video, man. You know, yeah. we like this kind of video because we're learning we're more learning. about it's it's like the country that we don't know much season. about. So this is interesting. Yeah, so interesting. thank you guys and stay safe, stay tuned. Peace.